Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a basically time lapse, speed drawing, whatever you want to call it, of this merman that I wanted to make. And he's kind of like a mermaid, a merman drag queen um, for Mer Mermay, the month of May, where you draw mer people. It's pretty self explanatory. Here's me working on the sketch. I'm fixing it all up, making it look the way I want it to. Going back and forth with some images. I wasn't really sure what kind of fish I wanted the bottom half to be, but I decided on the parrotfish after doing a little Google image search of tropical fish. This was the one that like caught my attention. Here I am working on the physique, really outlining um, my basic sketch. I do like two to three sketches when I do digital art usually, just because um, I want to have a concept that I can see first and then add fine detail. Here's my third sketch going in. Look at that. What a perfectionist. This whole like sketch process took me all night yesterday. So that's what I did. That's what I spent my night doing. Here I am going in with some ear thingies. I don't know if mer people would necessarily have those ear thingies, but people draw mer people with those ear thingies. So here I am going with, you know, popular decision. I based the hair off of this picture of Laganja Stranja because she's like a pretty rad drag queen. Next, I'm going in with some line art, finally doing some line art. Perfecting these eyes because these eyes were like one of the hardest things to do, at least to match them. That's always like the hardest part in art, matching the eyes. Even after I was done lining this bit and um, completing this, I still fixed up the eyes later. You're, you're going to probably notice if you have a sharp eye. But um, tss. anyway, um, I plan to do more of these on the, in the future, but honestly, it's like a lot of work which is hard when you're an artist that's often in art slumps and also has depression. It's just rough sometimes. It's not an excuse to like not do things you want to do, but like it's harder to do things you want to do. Anyway, I decided to make this face chiseled AF, all right? These cheekbones are not messing around. They are not playing. We are not here to lose this season, all right? We're here to take home all that makeup, <laughs> I think, and, like, the money. I don't really focus on when they announce, like, the prize during RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, I, I just kind of, like, my mind blanks out during that part. Another thing I readjusted later was, like, this arm. I made it a little thinner, and I moved his... Um, left nipple up because it's looking a little droopy it's looking a little sad um, I decided to make him not so curvy and more muscular he's kind of a muscular slash lean slash fit kind of guy you know maybe he does some under the water crunch crunches you know maybe some, some P90X going in with some webbing you would imagine mer people have webbed fingers just to like help them move around I don't know why not this other hand I should have left like right there I should have left it like that and then I decided I didn't like it so I kept changing it and the final hand, I'm not really satisfied with. Like, it's okay. That passes, but it's not, like, the best. You feel me? But this is, like, the most time I spent on art in a while. So I was like, whatever. It's whatever. I kept adjusting the height um, and, like, the size of things to fit the frame. I should have maybe elongated the canvas, but... Um, your boy is lazy, so I did not. I just kept readjusting things and making him shorter and shorter. 
So he's kind of a, a short parrotfish merman drag queen. But that's fine. Um, the tail was kind of hard to get down as well. It took a lot of sketching and planning. Because I don't draw fishes often. Fish. I don't draw fish often. I don't really like spend my days studying and drawing the different types of fish. And maybe that's something I should work on, actually. Fish and birds. Birds are also... They got some weird anatomy. They have holes in their bones. Isn't that wild? I mean, everybody has holes in their bones, but... More so than usual. Um... What else can I say about what I'm doing here? I don't know, I'm just finalizing the line art, you know, adding some hair lines to indicate which way everything is flowing. At this point, I still haven't fixed the eye, so it still looks wonky. She still looks very high. She is, you know, she's been smoking some stuff. Here, I'm making the background dark so that when I color in the skin, and then I have to erase. I know if there's like little bits and pieces I've missed. You know, because it's like light against dark. It just helps you out. So, that's what I'm doing here. Oh, exposed. My music has been exposed. But yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just erasing all the stuff that I need to erase and get on out of the way. Um, I like to go over everything with, like, a big eraser first, and then, you know, a smaller one to fine-tune everything. Oh, and I fixed her hairline, too. I don't know what I was thinking with those little spiky bits, but I got those out real quick. Next here, I'm adding some highlight, I guess you could call it. It's, um, you know, bringing light to the parts that stick out more smoothing things out making them a little less harsh and then i do that with the rest of the body and i didn't pull up a reference image for the muscles which i probably should have but i didn't feel like so i didn't and i just kind of guessed where the highlights might go based on what i know about human anatomy um, which isn't much, but it might be more than, like, people who don't draw or don't enjoy, um, I don't know, science, anatomy, whatever. Next, I'm going in with the darker bits to really contour. It brings shadow to the parts that go in. Uh, I didn't make it as dramatic as it could have been. You know, I know that a lot of, uh, drag queens like to make that contour sharp but I was not going for that she's a classy lady anyway I do the rest with the body as well doing some contour with the body making things look more natural even though it's a person that could never exist you still want to make it look like maybe they could exist Really defining those abs. I didn't plan on giving um, this drag queen abs at first, but um, I don't know. I guess I got thirsty. I don't know what to tell you. I slipped up. Here I am really cleaning things up, really adjusting, really fixing, darkening things that need to be darkened mediuming things that need to be mediumed, lightening things that need to be lightened, really going in. I guess I could have added a little bit more detail like to the hands. The hands don't have a lot of complex shading because I don't want to draw attention to the hands because honestly if I'm honest, if I'm being honest here, the hands on this piece are not the best. Next I'm doing some blush which was kind of harder than I anticipated. Filling in those brows. And the eye look, I kind of based on the fish itself. 
So it's got like this teal and like this blue and like this pink. And then the lips, we're going in with the coral blue number five. You know, it's like Gucci. Does Gucci make cosmetics? I think Gucci is solely clothing and handbags and shoes, maybe. Um, let's say this is like a Kylie lip kit or something. Anyway, adding dimension to that with some shading on the outsides, on the line, we're adding some highlighter. Oh, I didn't film me adding the highlighter. That's weird. Anyway, I did add like some light blue for highlighter. And what am I doing? Oh, I'm putting the whites in the eyes, coloring the eyes. I didn't really, f uh, I realized that it wasn't recording for the rest of me coloring the eyes. So sorry, you don't get to see my secret method of coloring eyes in. You know, you're lost to that bit. Next, I kind of chose this like cyan color for the body. Erasing all my mistakes. I was never that kid that could color neatly inside the lines. I just could not do that. Never could. Still cannot. I'm adding some scales to kind of make a seamless transition of where his human body begins and where his fish body begins. Adding some scales to the rest of his body so it's a little co cohesive. You know, it ties everything together. There's a word for it. I don't know it. I'm not a professional artist. Then I did some shading and I'm going in with some darker scales. And then I'm selecting the pinky color. Oh, never mind. I'm just making some more mistakes down there. Love it when I film my mistakes. It's great. Okay, now we're doing the pinky color. So we're choosing a pink. It took me like a few different tries. Here's the second, third attempt. No, fourth attempt, fifth attempt. And she's a winner. Now we're kind of doing that pattern that is on the top fish. I didn't really use the other fish. I don't know why I included them. I used mainly the fish, the first fish on the top for like this whole art. Because the other ones are kind of rainbowy, but that one is more turquoise and pink and that's kind of like the deal I wanted to go with here but I also added some baby blues and yeah I added some baby blues adding some black to the little side fin thingies I made it transparent because why not we can so we shall and you know fish fins are kind of transparent anyway I did the patterning off camera because I didn't realize I wasn't recording and also it was a pain in the butt to do all of this. Um, I first started with like a grid that I made myself like hash hashes and that looked too uniform. So then I tried to freehand it and it looked uniform again and I had to try again and it looked okay and then I added the dots and some shading. I guess I also forgot to record the hair bit, but I colored in the hair. Here I am erasing my mistakes once again. And the hair is not that light. It's just on transparent so I can see where to erase. I don't know why I could have just used the, the I don't know. I, I, listen, hindsight is twenty we We're going in with some brown and then oops, we're all the way to green now. Green, cyan, turquoise, whatever. Uh, we basically stole Laganja's entire wig. It has been snatched, and I'm sorry, but I'm also not. Now we're going to shade. There's this um, brush called Streak that's really good for shading hair, doing all that hair jazz. And I'm doing all that hair jazz, and I don't record all of that, so this is the end of the video where I now pan down and tell you to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching me draw. Have a nice day.